Welcome back, Hunters. I'm the Survival Vis, and we return to the Hunter Classic, where we're going to be on Hemeldal now, working to see if we can get a few of the wood grouse from this map. I don't know if I will do another weekend of the Hunter Classic, because the comments have been very helpful in letting me know the wood grouse are on three of the maps in the Hunter Classic. Hirschfelden, Hemeldal, and Valdebois. I'm not sure if I will do Valdebois, just because... I'm trying to remember where that actually is on the map here. Oh, right down here. Because I think I was told they're kind of more around where the Ibex are. And to get up to there, it usually takes a while to get up there. I'll see how this weekend's weekend goes. Maybe I will just tackle it as, like, just another little extra bit of time before we'll return to Wave the Hunter. But we're in here. We're in Hemeldahl, going to look around, see if we can go after the Wood Grouse. And I'm trying to think of the best way to go after them. Because, like, when I was on Hirschfelden, it was more so the wooded areas definitely had them. So I might want to do... Something like that for a root. You know, yeah, I think we'll do exactly that. <coughs> we'll do that for a root, see if we can find anything along there, call anything in, see if they'll strut a bit and approach, and just enjoy another weekend of some easy hunting together. Now, I did pick up a few extra callers, so if I do have, like, any reindeer or a uh, roe deer, we can try calling them in. So we should have a nice variety for this weekend. Well, we'll just continue down along the road and work our way out of the little, like, uh, spawning zone that always kind of happens. But yeah, I... And the sounds of it, the wood grouse... You'd expect more to find them in a place like Hemeldahl than you would in Hirschfelden, I guess because of, like, the geographic location they're both based on. But, I don't know, it's... I think it still kind of fits okay to have them on Hirschfelden as we saw. Like, I think it adds a little bit of uh, another species just to let you kind of see them a little bit more and have some variety on Hirschfelden. Because a lot of the map, I feel like, ooh, oh. I wasn't looking for a road here call, but we can always investigate that. Ah, you know what? I mean, we'll try going out and taking a look for that, see what he's like. But I was going to say, a lot of Hirschfelden, I don't know if you really have anything that fits that, the niche for uh, what the wood grouse fill. Like, before them, the fallow deer, the red deer, I don't know, I just feel like it kind of adds something nice to Hirschfelden that it didn't really have before. Like, just this more smaller game species that you'd want, that you could feel like you'd easily pull out of the woodwork or that. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I kind of like how it added a little bit more variety to it. And we'll see how it is on Hemeldahl, too. I know, granted, I'm more used to hunting the North American-style maps, just because it's what I'm more familiar with. You know what, maybe we'll take a seat right here. Uh, no, that's just in case we do have any links, but I doubt we'll run into them. Okay, I do have the uh, road deer collar. I just didn't have it on the hot bar. There we go. And you know what? Let me switch this out for the two, four, three, and just see if we can bring this guy in. Now, I don't know how Wave the Hunter has, like, carried over or helped me, like, and skill-wise for hunting. I do feel like the Hunter Classic is a lot easier of an approach for trying going after some of the species. But I think that does a kind of line into because you have a lot more equipment to work from than you do in Wave the Hunter. Like, having the different clothing options really makes an impact to, like, how well the animals might smell you, see you, etc. In Wave the Hunter, you don't really have a way to modify that. Aside from the perks, I think. So I don't know if that'll be something that... Oh, there you are. That might eventually be coming to Wave the Hunter, or not. Ah, uh, yes, he's kind of in a hard-to-spot area there. Okay, well, we'll try calling it out a little bit more. Oh, that's not our... 
roe deer. That is a male moose. Okay, you know what? We'll put that there. And we'll see how this goes. I don't know if I... If I take a shot at this roe... Okay, he's actually coming in really quick. There we go. Now we're going to get up, and yeah, we'll quickly harvest him, and then go check for this moose. My guess is with the distance, it might not have been scared off. So I might be able to get another easy animal right after this, and kind of again is how I was talking about where it does feel like the Hunter Classic. It can be a bit easier to tackle. Actually, he's... Doesn't look like he's too bad of a male roe deer from here. Let's take a look. Yeah, through the hung or through lung and heart. Ah, eh, one twenty-one. Not the greatest, but not too bad either. Because these guys can come as like little stick things too. So I think an okay little start for us. Yeah, let's see here. I bring you up a little bit like that. Slide ourselves right around here like that. And there we go. First one for our outing. Now, I didn't really have the inventory space to bring along the moose call, so I'm not going to be able to bring that in. But with the size of a moose, I don't think I super need to either. Should be pretty easy spotting them from a distance. Yeah, we'll hike up that way, try to keep and get on track more for going for the wood grouse further in. I don't know if it's actually been updated yet on the Hunter Classics wiki for, like, the, uh, areas or regions you might find the wood grouse in. Like, the main maps, yeah, it's listed, but sometimes they actually have, like, the animal population breakdowns where you can actually see, like, what species you might typically find in certain sections of each map. I'm just going to crouch low, and then we'll try spotting around the road here. So I don't know if he'll still be on it, or he might have just been passing through as well on his way somewhere else. But that's why we got the 300. I still think this is probably the best, like, basic build to be bringing with you out of haunts is the 300 caliber, the 243, and a shotgun with birdshot. It seems to let you hit every base pretty well, and there's only a few rare exceptions that you, you can't use one of your weapons for an animal. Truth be told, I think it might even be only the water buffalo of Pickbean Bay you won't be able to go after with this loadout. Although I may be mistaken, I'm not 100% sure on that. Okay, let me just hunker down here a moment. Yeah, see, I don't see much of anything around here right now. So it could well be he got scared off, or he was just trotting and going through the area. I don't see any big shapes moving about. So yeah, you know what? I'll just keep going with... Ah, uh, while we're crouched like this. You might be able to stumble across the tracks and then get an idea from there. A nice little bit of snow falling... I don't know if... I don't think Hemeldahl's weather would ever have it like you go through a blizzard, but that might be an interesting thing to see eventually. It's like if you do go on a map like this, you almost have whiteout conditions, and you almost just have to, like, wait the storm out. Although, that might actually... Maybe that's more something saved for a survival game, because now that I think about it, if you can't really hunt during a hunting game, maybe there's a small problem with that uh, as an idea. Yeah, maybe I'm getting too many long dark vibes from that. 
I wonder if that is a game I should also look at revisiting on the channel sooner or later, just to have a nice survival game present. I've got to see. I know my Monster Hunter series, I might take a little bit of a break from just to see for now. Because I don't know if I want to leap into the Iceborne for the ICE mod, or I should take a little bit of a breather. Because I have been going pretty steadily with, like, ah, uh, quite a few videos going up regularly on the channel. Maybe avoid a bit of burnout just to slim down a bit more. Okay, you know what? I'm not seeing any other tracks from it. I'm just going to stand up and keep working on the direction I mentioned before. Maybe even try Woodgrove's Call. Let's see if we can get anything like uh, replying to that, because that is what we are after. Actually, I was I was talking about a blizzard, but it, it does seem like it's coming down a little bit heavier for the snow, doesn't it? I mean, that could help us a bit in if we can pull something with calls out, we'll be much more hidden. On the same token, if I'm trying to spot anything, that'll be difficult too. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure where that moose decided to roam off to, but... So without having a collar, there's not really a point trying to track it down. It could have even been too. I did scare it off with the one shot for the road year. I doubt it, but I also can't say for certain how far the spook radius could be. Ah, uh, what do we got? Oh, just a female road here. Oh, wait. I still have my... I didn't realize I still had my tent up on this map. Okay, that actually changes things a fair bit, because... Oh, and actually, that's the road here tracks right there. Okay, I guess Hemeldahl was one of the last maps I did, because I thought... I thought I had a map set up, or a tent set up on Pickbean Bay. Maybe I still do. I have... Okay, well, that's interesting. Maybe next episode I'll actually start us off from the tent. Because that should probably be prime territory for the wood grouse. That's way off into the woods. I do have all the callers and stuff. I just don't think I have a means of fast traveling out there. Because so I think if I wanted to do that... Yeah, you don't have camping supplies. You get one fast travel between the lodges... Or is it one every so often? I know you can fast travel to either of the lodges when you're out on the map, but I think there's also a cooldown after you've done it once. But to travel out to, like, where your tent's set up, you either have to start from it, or you have to use camping supplies to get out to it. Uh, you know what, I guess I could try... It is in our general direction, so I could try spotting for it. I don't know if she has a partner with her, or it's just uh, her on her own. No, oh, actually on my road deer tracking up to level 9. Okay. Yeah, so far, pretty quiet. I don't think I'll really super try for any reindeer. If I do hear or see some sign of something, I might, but... Yeah, I'll just try working out towards the wood grouse. It might be sort of like how on Hirschfelden was when I started the One Lodge. You have much better odds in very specific areas of the map. Okay, so she's technically... Okay, there she is. And is she all alone? I 
I think she is. I don't see any other movement around her. Yeah, no, she's all on her own here. Okay, we'll just keep going on our way. Uh, I thought that was her making that, like, warning bark. Maybe it was actually somebody else near her. Eh, let's just send her on her way. Yeah, there she goes. Yeah, see, I don't know if that was actually her making all those barks, or there was another one just, like, within the vicinity somewhere more to the left. But I'm not going to dwell on it too much. We'll just keep going and see if we can try to get any other activity. I gotta say, we got a track here, we'll investigate. And keep working our way up this way. Uh, just more roe deer. And try some more calls. Just keep this locator a little bit more, because I thought I heard something from that way. I mean, I don't know if it was actually a wood grouse, or... Could have been anything, really. I think one thing about, like, kind of being out here... I am tunnel-visioning myself a bit to only trying for the wood grouse, but... We'll just walk and wander and see what we can find. That might actually be something where, now I've gotten more of a hang with using the need zones for, like, uh, way of the hunter. The hunter call of the wild would be a different experience, although, truth be told, with how they've been doing all the, uh, DLCs and how much there is to download. Oh. That's what we're after. So we did get lucky, and we'll probably get a wood grouse here. I do just need to remember to be careful about uh, how upright I am as it's coming in. No, oh, actually, let me make sure I also prepare properly with the right weapon. As we want bird shot for a bird, that makes sense. There we go. And we'll slowly crawl, or, well, maybe not crawl, but... Maybe work our way up to around here. Now, I don't know if I should try using the rocks as a little bit of elevation... Uh, maybe we'll try giving it a go if I can. Or maybe not. I might have put myself into a bad spot trying here. It's like... I don't want to be too visible like how we had the one time on Hirschfelden. But I also need to be able to actually see what's coming in. So me, Actually, you know what? This might not be too bad of a spot here. There's not really a lot of cover around myself. 
but I do feel like I can see a fair bit around us. Yeah, we just gotta wait and see if that brings one in. Oh, actually, we might have multi- Oh, we might be in a good spot here, because we got- There was one ahead of us, and there's also one kind of coming in behind us. Now, that also does pose a problem, because I have to try looking in two directions at once. Uh, we'll just keep trying and see. It might be... If I keep the caller going, I might be able to hear, like, hear and see them strutting in before they get too wise to me. It's like our first encounter last weekend with one. They do have, like, a little bit of a fancy strut they try to do and call out with. So I'm hoping something like that will clue me in to whichever one's nearer. Yeah, see, I hear... It's hard to tell. Okay, no, I just... See, I think it's coming in. I just don't see it yet. I feel like it is ahead of me. The one to our back isn't quite close enough yet. Hmm. Like, I heard making a lot of the calls, but... It's not within sight quite yet. <laughs> ah, shoot. Oh, but I got it. First one I think missed, but the second one did get it for us. I actually wasn't sure if I'd be able to, but I think, thankfully, it didn't really run off in a different direction. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it'd be ahead or behind us, but... Managed to snag a woodgrouse, at least, this episode. And I am a little surprised it was the one behind us that got so close first. Maybe you're not a high score on one, but let's check. Yeah, it just says neck, body. Well, I guess 32 is not too bad for it. How much did he weigh? Six kilograms. Yeah, so let's hoist you up, say like... Ah, do do. I guess we can do something like that. And do do. There we go, something like that. Now, the other one's probably gone spooked well out, so... We can probably keep going for a little bit longer, see if we get any other, like, random calls from an animal, try it. But maybe next episode I will try us out with the tent on this map, since I apparently did leave it out here. I 
I guess Hamildahl was the last series I did before, like the little epilogue of Back to Pick Bean Bay. Is that something? Well, I'll be damned. We might actually get another wood grouse here. I haven't seen any of the females yet, so I don't know if it's only the males you're likely to bring in with the calls. Or what, but... I'm starting to see that guy out there. Now, I don't know if he is, like... Yeah, that's another male. I might even just crawl for a while and see if he doesn't move too quickly. Because he has to have been startled by the shotgun blasts. I can't imagine having, like, been just within visual range like this. It's not, like, an alert animal. But if we just crawl slowly and surely, we might be able to get a chance at it. But yeah, we'll see about getting this one. We'll try way up into the highlands there, see if we get anything. I might even be able to look at getting ptarmigan too, but... I think we'll still focus on getting these uh, wood grouse first. They are the recent... The latest addition to the game, and I don't know if there's plans for any other additions for this year or not to the Hunter Classics animal roster. I I mean, truthfully, I'm not really as far in the know with it, news about that as I probably should be, but it's one of the things also where, if I'm not really covering the game, it's not really a way to convey news about it, too. But yeah, we're just going to keep crawling like this and see how close I can get. I am a little surprised at how far of a distance we were able to get the... just that last grouse down with, so... as long as it doesn't move around too much... we might not even have to worry about trying to call or bring it in. We might just be able to get to a decent spot and take a shot or two. Yeah, let me just keep going a little further and see. Nope. Yeah, see, there's its calls going out, so... And as long as I'm cautious, we might be able to get it. And I do have to be careful I spring up to take a peek for him, though. Somewhere around here. Oh. Actually, is that him or is that a female? Oh no, that might be him. Okay, let me see if I can bring him out. No, oh, I lost sight of him. He was just right up there. Eh, we can wait a minute or two and just see if we... ...and spot any movement coming in towards us. I don't actually know which direction he went. I think he's back in there more. But I cannot see anything to know for sure.
Yeah, I don't know. I'll try again. But it looks like he might have gotten away on us. Like, kind of like last weekend in a way. Yeah, I'm not hearing any calls or chirps or anything like he was doing just a bit earlier. Oh, actually, maybe we will get him in. You have to give it a minute or two, but if he is calling like that, I think that's a sign that he is going to be... Oh, there he is. Okay. Come on in, bud. There you go. Do your little waddle. Yeah, he still wants to hug the trees a little bit, but if we can just get him in closer, he should be pretty easy to be able to pop off. Come on a little closer. Like even if I can get him just to, like, say, the trunk of that tree, I think that'll be good enough for a shot. There you go. Yeah, I think he's coming right in for us now. closer, bud. I just don't like how you're kind of in that branch. I feel like the hitbox might make it so we don't get... There you go. And that'll do. Yes, yeah, so we'll harvest that. Next episode, I think we will... No, oh, shotgun skill up. Nice. Next episode, I will start us from the uh, tent way up in the highlands. And then we'll see if I want to do one more weekend for the wood grouse or not. It depends on how many I think we get for uh, this next episode. Just because if I am able to get quite a few of them, it just might feel like we're kind of repeating the same stuff. Let's see. Only 5.3 kilogram for this guy. But still a decent one. Hey, we'll take a silly one. Eh, something simple like that. And take the picture. There we go. Alright. Thank you all very much for joining me on this episode of the Hunter Classic. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to give it a like. And if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, be sure to in the comments right down below. And until I do see you in the next video or episode, Hunters and Survivors, please remember, as always, to take care, stay alive, and happy hunting.